While today marks the official ban on the use of plastic paper bags here in Kenya, to many traders, it's business as usual as they failed to find alternatives for the same. We spoke to some of the business people here and this is what they had to say about it. Mom, sasa leo unawekea watu vitu wa Eh, kusema kweli niliamka saa 10 na niko na stock yote hapa. Niko na nyanya, niko na mboga. Sijau saa ta shilingi 10. Nikiwekea customer na niuliza nitabebea wapi? Ana nirudishia. Sasa hii maisha tutaweza kweli. Na wewe mam, leo customers wame complain. Ana complain sana ukipea customer mboga na kuambia ni karatasi atanunua ya 70 ama ni mboga ya 70. Ni unga atanunua ya ya, ya, ya ya kwenda kukura mboga ama ni karatasi atanunua pebe unga. Sasa customer anasema siendi na mboga baki na mboga yako tuko na shida. Saidieni. Na ni effect juu sasa na shindo ndafungia watu na nini ukimwambia chukue hivyo anasema mkoro ni chafu sawa unabaki anaenda tu mambo ya makaratasi yenyewe nimeondolea wacha ishe tu imekuwa ikitutatiza kwa muda mm. kama wana biashara sasa hivi unafungia watu vitu na nini mimi kama mwana biashara sijaanza kufunga lakini ile itaingia sasa ile itaintroduceiwa hiyo sasa ndio nitanunua nianze kuwafungia nayo leo mtu akikuja kununua vitu anakuja na karatasi yake kuja itabidi abebe hivyo na kesho namkumbusha abebe karatasi si karatasi mfuko sasa mfuko sasa ama kiondo karatasi imetuharibia ime environment jili sasa mimi kulingana na mimi na umri wangu miaka yangu hata kukuwa makaratasi si tulikuwa tunabeba kiondo tulikuwa tunafungiwa na karatasi ya gazeti hata nyama na naona maisha siku hiyo ilikuwa mzuri sana Leo imekuwa siku ngumu lakini imebidi lazima tufanye jinsi serikali ilivyosema. Kwa maana leo mtu akija kununua inabidi akuja na kiondo yake ama kikapo tunamtumkiza chakula pale anabeba anaenda. Sawa. Kuna wale customers maybe wame complain kwa sababu hauku na pali pa kuwaeke. Kama leo siku ya leo nimepoteza ma customers wengi kwa maana wanakuja ni wawekea na sina pali pa kuwekea na sasa inabidi mtu waende lakini kuna wale ambao walikuwa ameelewa wakija wanakuja na kiondo yao alafu na wawekea ndani. Hivyo yeah. unaona ni kama hii system itaweza work pole pole. Hii system itakuja kuwa kama tutaendelea kuwa hivyo na tunaomba serikali watuletee mapepa zile zilikuwa za kitambo at least tukaendelea kufungia pale ma customer lakini kwa leo imekuwa ni siku ngumu iko saa tutasoea juu sasa hata si tunatakanga usafi eh yeah. wale wa Kenya wenye wako hawa yuko ready ku adapt ungewaambiaje hata hawa wakuwe ready juu hata si tuko kwa biashara na tumeanza kukuwa ready tumeanza kujitayarisha na hizi kama sasa hizi zinaletwa saa hii Juu kama hizi sisiko sawa. Kama hizi hizi. Tumye na watuletea sabela hizi kidogo. Diyo tuweze kuendelea na biashara hizi dogo dogo. Hakuna customer leo. Tukona sila ni migi. Tawataka matutafujia kiti mushuri. Ya kufuga madisi mushuri. Tukubatia customer. Kwa ni yamuka asubui na mapema. Nikaenda soko kawaida. Nikachukua mboga zangu. Kufika soko ni sichaona watecha. Mtecha kikucha na niambia ni mfungie na sina karatasi. Imepiti sasa nifunge na hii karatasi. Hii ndiyo nafunga nayo, wengine wanakataa, saa wananiachia mboga. Saa hii nimechasa mzigo, sijauza. Kwa hivyo biyashara imekua? Biyashara hiko chini, watecha wako. Kuna wenye maybe wanakuja na vitu zao za kuwekea? Kuna wenye wanakucha na pepa bag za tati, lakini sio sana. Unaona hii mambo imekua fekti ya biyashara? Unaona hii mambo imenipeleka fibaya, chusioni watecha kama kitambo. Kastoma akikuja, anakuambia nipatia nyanya kama ni 20. Ukienda kumpatilia, anakuambia pana nifungie. Una karatasi, arafu anasema, si chukui. E, Inani ya kifektia biyashara. Kuzi kuna sometimes watu wanauza supu wapa. Wakiuza supu, azi, hakuna kitu wa kupebea supu. Na tumezoa kueka supu kwa makarata. Kwa karatasi. Sasa watu wakikuja, as in tunuwa kwa pa tuko zilisemekana wa karatazi zipatikane. So hiyo inakuwa inakuwa challenge. According to the National Environmental Management Authority, NEMA, the ban applies to the use, manufacture and importation of plastics. Violation could attract a fine of 2 to 4 million shillings or a maximum sentence of 4 years.
Well, even as many business people still insist they do not have an alternative to the plastic paper bags for daily shoppers, this right here might be the only alternative. For tuko.co.ke, I am Lynn Gugi.